So far we have installed Viewtify and also set up the data inside the state that we will be dealing with. Now in this lesson we are going to start working on the authentication using Firebase. So let's get back to the editor and figure out how we are going to handle that. The first thing that we will do is get rid of the default content that is created by Verify. Now let's convert the spaces I'm more comfortable in this way. So here, now inside the app bar, we'll have login, register, logout, and some other links. For now, let it be as it is. And here, inside the vmain, we will place the container. And inside the container we have placed the router view. So that's it for the app.view file for now. Now let's go inside our views folder and here we are going to create our login and register views. Let's start with the register view. Our registration view is ready. Now let me explain you from the top that what we have added so far. We have added the basic markup of a grid by using Beautify and we have a single row and a column and inside that column we have a card. That card holds our registration form. In the form we have three fields name, email and password. Each of these fields have their own validation rules specified in the data section. Also need to mention that we have a button which will trigger the register method. Here you can see at the data section we have defined the rules of validation for each of these fields 
and basically one validation rule is common and that is we will check whether the field value exists or not and for the email we will add additional validation rule to check whether the field contains one at the rate or not and for the password we are going to check whether the password supplied by the user is more than eight characters or not and finally in the register method we are going to call the validate method on our form and if the form is valid only then we are going to call the action register this action we need to define inside our store file so let's add the action here Here inside the register method, we have three lines of code. And the first one is we are using the auth tool of Firebase and passing the email and password into the method called create user with email and password. This method is basically going to create an user with the email and password provided by the front end. And after that, this user object will have its own unique user ID. And here we are using the Firestore users collection to store only the name. As I have told earlier that the auth package or auth tool can only contain the email and password. All other fields we will have for the user will be stored in a collection called users collection. So here the name we are going to store it into a document and the document will have its own unique user ID which will be the user's unique ID and this set method is going to store the data for us and finally we are going to call the dispatch method to the fetch user profile and we are passing the user this fetch user profile is another action that will basically fetch the user and set the user profile so let's do that Here inside the fetch user profile action, we are going to call the user's collection and pass the unique user ID to get the user name from the user's collection. And after that, we are setting the user data here inside our state user profile. And finally, we are going to redirect the user to the dashboard. We have not created this dashboard so far. So let's create that here inside the views folder let's create a new file called dashboard.view So that's it for the dashboard file. Here we are displaying the user profile dot name and this user profile we need to fetch it from our state and we can do that by using the map state.
of Vivex. Now let's save this and we need to add all this to our router. Now we need to import the views. So that's it for the router. Now let's save this and give it a try. Now we need to visit slash register. And here we are getting the registration form. But before supplying some values to this form, we need to configure a few things. Go to Firebase and click on the project that you are using right now. From the left hand side we need to set up authentication first and go to sign in method and here you can see email and password. They provide multiple sign in providers and right now we are going to need only this one. So click on enable and save this. And here in the authorized domain section make sure localhost is there. That's it for the authentication. Now go to Cloud Firestore, click on Create Database and we are ready to use it as test mode for now. Let it be what it is and click on Enable. Basically it provides an option to choose the data center as we are going to use it as a test database so that's why it does not matter actually. But if you are using it in production make sure that the users that you are targeting you are selecting the zone nearest to them. Now here we can create a collection and our database is ready so we are ready to give it a try. We also have view dev tools installed so we can track the states as well as any other thing let's try to submit our first user and here we are getting redirected to the dashboard our data is saved. Here we are getting the user profile name and you can see the username and password. Let's go to Firebase and it should be available right here also. So yes, our collection is ready and it contains a single document. Here is the unique user ID set as a document ID and we got a single value name and the username. And if you look at the authentication, you will find a new user created. And here is the user UID, which you can see here in the cloud store as a document ID. So that's it. This is how the authentication process for the registration method will work with Firebase authentication and cloud store.